you absolutely can't make a bad coffee good. So really that's where we start. My role as an educator allows me the opportunity to taste and explore coffee on a daily basis from all different platforms and ultimately the discovery of new flavors from just this tiny remarkable hand-picked fruit. Our uh, green buyer sources, travels and maintains relationships with producers all around the world. Brazil is really such a fascinating country. It's one of the highest producing coffee countries in the world. While I typically credit it to having what I like to call kind of these base notes, they're, they're round, nice, soft acidity, heavier mouth feels, I'm constantly surprised at the types of coffee I can get that go outside of that flavor spectrum. And roasting, I like to describe it as really the simple application of time and temperature. The greatest thing about it is that it brings people from around the world just pure, simple happiness. We worked in partnership with a small exhibitionary farm called Sanctuary of Soul this year. And they're doing something really cool. They really are shifting the paradigms of what Brazilian coffee cultivation can be. Uh, this is their first year producing a Rio Giga Chefe heirloom variety from Ethiopia. A plant itself that has been transplanted and meticulously cultivated on this tiny little farm. And what you get is something that is just truly different. You get all of that heavy mouthfeel and syrupy body that you would expect and anticipate from a Brazil, but you get these rare flavors of, you know, the sweetness of an East African coffee with the intoxicating florals that you might expect from an Ethiopian offering. I think that's for us, we look at projects like these and we say, wow, that's something really spectacular. That is something that changes the way that I feel about coffee. You know, the end goal is to find incredible coffee from people doing incredible things so we can make one defining memorable moment in somebody's life. It's pretty awe-inspiring that so many people involved in the creation of a singular cup of coffee at all points from agronomy to processing, roasting, education, and you know, ultimately brewing. It's all deeply rooted in the creation of relationships, bound through the persistent pursuit of quality. Every party involved in the seed to cup supply chain needs to be quality driven in order to get that coffee to be the best tasting. I'm passionate about coffee because I'm passionate about this human-to-human -human experience and this drive for great quality and the exploration of flavors.